morning, CCHS. I'm Ethan Freeman here with Colby Berg to bring you the daily announcements. Today is Thursday, October 31st. is an A day, day 47 of the school year. Today's quote comes from Jersey Gregory. He said, hard choices, easy life. Easy choices, hard life. For lunch today, we'll be dining on chili, crackers, cookie, oranges, carrots, and milk. Now let's send it over to Casey to take a look at the standing announcements. I'm Casey Appletrop here with the standing announcements. The first social activity for FBLA members is scheduled for Sunday noon to 3 p.m. at Smash Park in West Des Moines. Other FBLA chapters in our region are also invited to this event. We plan to leave Creston at 11 a.m. The BFW Voice of Democracy essays are due today. Entries can be turned into the counselor's office. Applications are also available in the counselor's office. The Twitter poll is open for the next three days to choose a slogan for the January January 28th cancer fundraiser to benefit the patients at Greater Regional Health. Please assist the FBLA and CAST students by casting your vote today. Juniors, see the counselors this week to finalize your second semester schedule. There will be a meeting in room 320 on Monday, November 4th at 3.30 for any high school girl interested in playing basketball this season. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Nybauer. Cross country athletes need to turn in their uniforms on Monday, November 4th at 3.30 in the High school gym. Have all items clean and ready to turn in. Crescent Archery Team will host an information night on Monday, November 4th at 6 p.m. at Burton R. Jones Gym. Archery is available for any students 4th through 12th grade. This meeting is for all new and returning archers. At least one parent or guardian should plan to attend the meeting. Practices will, be, will begin the following week. Details will be given at the meeting. If you're unable to attend the meeting, you'll need to contact a coach to ensure to get the necessary paperwork and information. Reminder, the READS program begins next week for students who have gone through the training. It is Red Ribbon Week. There will be district-wide activities and dress-up days. The next dress-up days for tomorrow are school's drug-free week, where Panther Red and Black. Good morning, CCHS. Welcome to another minute. I'm going to move quickly, but I have a lot of shout-outs I want to start with. First, marching band and color guard. D1 rating, 31 straight years in Glenwood last Saturday. Good work, that was fun to watch. Hey, shout out Tyler Loudon. Now Tyler's in Indianapolis on the FFA trip, but he's representing Iowa in the Creed speaking. And if he gets through the rounds there, he could be a national champion. So go Tyler, we're rooting for you back in, in Creston. Hey, upcoming. December 5th and 6th at Wells Fargo Arena is the state dance competition that our Peppers will be in. So shout out to the Peppers who performed at uh, the football games this year. They did a great job and it'll be December before we know it and they'll be at Wells Fargo Arena. So more on that later. Brittany Lynch, All-State Band. Brittany, that's awesome. We had some other great vocalists and musicians that tried out, didn't quite get there. But congrats to the effort that they all put in, and congrats uh, to Brittany on her selection. Hey, <clears throat> shout out volleyball last night. Um, ended the season not the way you wanted to in second round regional, but you played great. It was neat to see um, us playing our best volleyball at the end of the year against a very talented uh, opponent. State cross country Saturday, Fort Dodge, Braylon Baker, Paige Davis. Be representing the Panthers. Good luck. Run fast. We'll be rooting for you. Okay, I need uh, got three reminders here for you, students. So please pay attention. Number one, okay, the weather uh, changes. Uh, parking lots get slick. We're too fast in the parking lots. We need to slow down, especially after school. So slow it down. Make sure the parking lots are safe. We don't want any fender benders or anybody getting hit. Um, review, backpacks, we're starting to see them come out of our lockers, going to seminars. So as a reminder, backpacks do not go to seminar. They stay in your lockers until the final bell at 315. Then you go get your backpacks. Then you can exit the building. So we've done a pretty good job of that, but we're starting to see backpacks in the hallways during seminar. and. Breakfast is the most chaotic place in our lunchroom. Now, we do a great job at lunch making sure we clean up our tables, but in breakfast we have a much larger crowd in there. Sometimes we forget. Make sure we're cleaning up um, after ourselves uh, during breakfast. 
Okay, some upcoming information. Um, next week, uh, November 7th, we parent-teacher conferences, so that Thursday will be an early out. And then <clears throat> Friday, November 8th, there's, there's no school as a parent-teacher uh, makeup day. Then, the following weekend, and I'll talk more about it upcoming, is Brigadoon the Musical. So we'll do, um, we'll do shout outs and we'll get more information to you as that gets closer. Now, we are updating all the grades on Friday, so any makeup or missing work, get that in. So we're all ready to go for parent-teacher conferences. Until then, make sure you help out a friend and have a great day. That is all we have there for the standing announcements. Let's send it over to Maddie to take a look at the seminar schedule. I'm Maddie Fry with the seminar schedule. Today during seminar, there will be an ensemble meeting in the library, a Veterans Day program meeting in Ms. Downing's office. Students will write or draw a thank you to the local police in appreciation for their work to keep our community safe with their seminar teachers. Notes should be returned to the counselors. Tomorrow, Reader's Theater will meet in room 601. The radio group will meet in the library. There will be a robotics meeting in room 205, and there will be a boys basketball meeting in room 215. That's all we have on the seminar schedule. Let's send it to Sydney with activities calendar. I'm Sydney Strunk here with your activities calendar. On Saturday, Paige Davis and Braylon Baker will represent the Panther cross country team at the state meet in Fort Dodge. They will compete in the 3A girls race starting at Kennedy Park and toe the line at noon. That is all we have on the activities calendar. We will send it back to the newsroom to wrap up the announcements. There are no birthdays to celebrate today at CCHS. Before we finish today, we would like to check in with Cole Strider who caught up with all with All-State trumpet player Brittany Lynch. I am back here with Brittany Lynch. Brittany, you have made it to All-State. This is your second year doing it. You play the trumpet, correct? Yep. So how often do you play? Well, let's first of all, let's. what is All-State? Okay, kind of so All-State is this really big Music Festival up in Des Moines, there's a band, there's an orchestra and the choir, and we all play in Hilton Coliseum up in Ames. So in order, like, to get to Allstate, you have to go through an audition, and around the state there are six centers to audition. I auditioned in Atlantic, so if you do an initial audition. For my center, there were 47 people who auditioned, and then the judge picked the top 10 out of those, and you got a recall. So then out of those new top 10, you had to do a second audition, and to see the top seven, and the top seven out of those ten made it in the band. You were ranked one through seven. I got the top spot from our district, but I was good enough that I didn't have to do a second audition, so once uh, my first audition was done, I just made it directly in the band. Once you get up to Allstate, you have to do another audition to get a chair, like your chair, ranked first chair, second chair, third chair, so on. What chair, did you get a chair last year in the band? Last year I got third chair, so man, I was third best in the state. So my goal is that this year to just get first chair. I'm How I mean, you have to be I mean, you have to be pretty good to get third chair, first chair. How often do you practice? Uh, but whenever I have time, I mean, I'm really busy as it is. But you know, you try and practice every day. Sometimes twice a day. I practice during free blocks or after school, and then I'd have band lessons here with Mr. Peters. Yeah. So what part of the band is your favorite? Like, yeah, and you guys do concerts. You guys do marching. Uh, are you in jazz band? Yep. Um, jazz band is actually my favorite. It's just I think it's because it's a smaller ensemble. So you get more like individual playing time. I also like the group members better in the small ensemble. Um, I also really like marching band too. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So what are your plans for next year, you being a senior? Uh, I'm going to Iowa State and I'm going to major in biology. Right now, I don't think I'm going to be in the band. I might be in a jazz band, mm -hmm. um, but I think I'm just going to let, you know, settle my way yeah. through the freshman year first to figure uh, out what I want to do. That's awesome. But you're going to continue to play. Oh yeah, that's yeah, awesome. definitely. All right, thanks you. And if you guys see Brittany in the hallway, wish her good luck. and. Uh, Go get on it. It's to Allstate. Have a great day, CCHS, and as always, remember to respect yourself, others, and this place.